everyone, this video is on the Doppler's effect. The Doppler's effect refers to a phenomenon where the frequency of a wave is dependent on the relative velocity between the source that produces the wave and the observer that measures the frequency. In Doppler's effect, the frequency of the wave is increased if the source is approaching or moving towards the observer or if the observer that's measuring the frequency of the wave is approaching or moving towards the source. Conversely, the frequency of the wave is decreased if the source is moving away from the observer or if the observer is moving away from the source. In both scenarios, the wave's frequency or its wavelength will be changed depending on the relative velocity between the source and the observer. In Doppler's effect, the frequency that's measured by the observer due to the Doppler's effect is also known as the perceived frequency. In the equation prescribed by Nessa, this is represented by f dash. The perceived frequency is equal to the original frequency of the wave multiplied by this fraction. In the numerator, we have the velocity of the wave, that is the velocity of the wave that is unaffected by the Doppler's effect. So for example, for the velocity of sound in air, this will be roughly 340 meters per second. The velocity of light in a vacuum will be 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second, plus the velocity of the observer. And this is all divided by the denominator, which is the velocity of the wave minus the velocity of the source. A common example that demonstrates the Doppler's effect is the siren of the ambulance. The sound wave emitted by the siren of the ambulance is affected by the Doppler's effect depending on the velocity of the source and the velocity of the observer. The frequency of the sound wave will decrease if the ambulance is moving away from the person. A lower frequency of a sound wave will correspond to a lower pitch. Vice versa, the frequency of the sound wave of the siren will increase instead if the ambulance is moving towards or approaching the person or the observer. For sound waves, a higher frequency will correspond to a higher pitch. So in this scenario where the ambulance is moving away from the observer on the left, this person will detect the siren to have a decreasing pitch as the ambulance is moving away. As the ambulance is moving towards the observer or the person on the right side, this person will detect the siren to have an increasing pitch or higher frequency as the ambulance is moving towards him or her. Before we delve into a calculation example using the equation, it is important for me to let you know that you will come across different forms and different variations of the same equation. This equation is given by the NASA data sheet, which is the one I recommend all students sitting in the HSC to become familiar with. In this equation, the velocity of the wave, whether it's sound wave or light, should always be a positive value. The velocity of the observer could either be positive or negative. In this equation form, the velocity of the observer is positive if the observer or the person is moving towards the source of the wave. Similarly, the velocity of the source can either be positive or negative as well. It is positive if the source that's producing the wave is moving towards the observer. In simpler words, the velocity of the observer or the source will always be positive if they are moving towards each other. They will be negative if either is moving away from the other. Let's go through a few questions using this equation. An ambulance emits a siren frequency of 700 hertz. So this number is my original frequency unaffected by the Doppler's effect. Calculate the observed frequency, that is the perceived frequency, f dash or f prime, of the siren if the ambulance is moving towards the stationary observer at 30 meters per second. So here, the velocity of the wave, which is in my numerator and denominator, is the velocity of the sound wave through air. In the NASA data sheet, this is given as 340 meters per second. The velocity of the observer in this case is zero because the observer is stationary. The velocity of the source is given by the velocity of the ambulance because that's what's emitting the sound wave. Now, the speed is 30 meters per second. 
But in the equation, we need to determine what the velocity is, whether this is positive or negative 30 meters per second. Now remember we said that if the source or the ambulance is moving towards the observer, then the velocity will be positive. So here this will be positive 30 meters per second. So the observed frequency due to the Doppler effect is equal to 700 hertz multiply by 340 plus zero divided by 340 minus 30. This gives a frequency of 768 hertz. The ambulance is moving at 30 meters per second towards the observer. So this means the V velocity of the source of the wave is again 30 meters per second, who is moving away from the ambulance at five minutes per second. So in this example, the observer also has a non-zero velocity. The observer in this instance is moving away from the ambulance, away from the source, which means the speed of five meters per second will be minus five meters per second as a velocity. So the observed frequency due to the Doppler effect is equal to 700 hertz multiplied by 340 minus five divided by 340 minus 30. Notice how the original frequency of the sound wave is unchanged and so is the velocity of sound wave in air. This gives a observed frequency of 756 hertz. Part C, the ambulance is now moving away from the station observer at 30 minutes per second. So in this case, the observed frequency is equal to 700 hertz multiplied by 340, which is velocity of a sound wave, plus velocity of the observer. The observer is stationary, so the velocity is zero, divided by 340 minus the velocity of the source. Now, the velocity of the source, which is the ambulance, is now moving away from the observer. So the speed of 30 meters per second should be written as minus 30 meters per second, which is the velocity. So in a denominator here, we'll write minus minus 30 meters per second, which gives a lower frequency of 643 hertz. This concludes the video on the Doppler effect. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.